um, back to what I was saying though, like, basically my, my, my point is, before I had to go walk my dog there, um, the story of Shadow Mordor, it's good, I personally really do like it, um, the boss fights, like, I would say like the war chiefs are like the mini boss fights, they're kind of boss fights, that, that kind of goes on endlessly, the, the captains are like the mini boss fights. And the thing is, they all have their little little quirks, like their own weaknesses, their own strengths. Like, like, like if they hate being defeated, they'll just get right back up, like, ah, and just end up like regenerating their health because that's what makes them stronger. Yeah, and and like there were there were there's always that rare rare um uruk slash orc that's like. That you that you had to be so damn precise to killing. I mean, I know Ang Angry Joe had that problem with Olgoth, and I had that one problem with that one dude that, like, you know, like you know those mother motherfuckers that have like, um, those uh sword, the two sword shit, two axe sword tomahawk type shits. Yeah, I had to fight I fight one of them. He 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 was also. A, a combat specialist, which means I couldn't I couldn't attack him all that easily with like you know a execution type attacks, which are very powerful. Like I, I just needed I just needed to keep on like st 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 stunning him and just keep on like <laughs> like somehow like a fast paced Star Wars flick, but I have a fast paced Star Wars lightsaber fight, you know, and. But the thing is, he's always guarded by these fuckers. There's always reinforcements. Damn, like, there's always a rare occurrence where you just need, where you just want to kill him. You want to kill this motherfucker. Um, but yeah, boss fights, like, the war chiefs, such warlords, they're, they're fucking badass. Um, the actual boss fights, like, like, let's say, like, so in the hands of, uh, Sor Sauron, like, the tower and the hammer dude. Uh, especially the hammer dude, like, especially with later on, like, he, he's pretty dope. I, I, to be honest, I feel like we, I feel like we could have, I, I feel like we should have gone, gotten more of those guys, you know, in some, like, cause the tower was kind of built up as this big baddie. Like, especially in that one main mission where, where he first appeared in, who was a fucking kick-ass character. Uh, the towers also also has a pretty pretty interesting boss fight, and I just felt like that we should have just had we should have had more of these guys, but we might get 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 those guys in Shadow of War sooner 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 soon enough. But how is the final how is the final 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 boss? Well, I mean I couldn't say like the game was like a a ten out of ten. I mean. The game, the game is amazing. I do highly re recommend it. It's a nine out of ten e easily, because I think it's highly enjoyable. The story is interesting. Characters are enjoyable, like especially the ones that you meet up with are helping you. Like carrot, like e even like the orcs, like your own enemies. They all can be interesting in their own way. Like they have like their own little, little tiny bit of personality. Like they're all blood bloodthirsty for humans to die, but they all have, like, they all have like the little quirks. Their own, you know their own unique, um, you know, you know, like, what are they really afraid of, like, the, the most, like, do they hate grog, like, do they hate fire, or are they, or they invulnerable to fire, like, it's crazy, you know, so yeah, even the, even, even the bad guy side could be as in, in, interesting, not as much, but just saying, um, because some of them are kind of, some of the personality quirks are kind of recycled a bit. I kind of noticed that. Um, but the final boss. I'm sorry, but I know it somewhat makes sense to the story. Like, if this is like a story-based, like, if the entire cutscene was like, an entire fight between, uh, Sauron and Talion. Like, it was just a pretty big fight. Like, it didn't really last long, you know, because we worked our asses off to get it, to get it, to get it, to get to that bastard. Either that, or we could have just had, like, our little own boss fight. But no, it's... It's a quick time event. Look. Quick time events, I have little to no problem with at, at times. There are... They are exceptional. 
when it comes to games like that are from Telltale Games. You you know, because uh, I think that uh, choice and consequence, uh, point and click type of games, kind of they're they're kind of quick time events are kind of ne necessary because there really isn't any other thing you can do when it comes to point and click type of games. That's what Telltale is mostly known for. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to get used to quick time events. Because that, that's just how it is. And the thing is, Quick Time Events and Telltale Games, they've actually been doing qu quite good. Uh, there are some good Quick Time Events too, like the ones that Plat Platinum Games even make, you know, back in Metal Gear Rising and sometimes Bayonetta, which are pretty damn cool. Now, the Quick Time Event in this, two to three Bob buttons, I'm pretty sure. That's how that's how you kill the final the final big baddie. I'm sorry, but the final boss, the the big baddie, that was just disappointing. Okay, the dude. Oh my god, I, I don't want to spoil the ending, but actually, you know what? Fuck it. Just cut his own throat. I mean, I, I mean, it makes sense when it comes to the Lord of the Rings sorcery, sor 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 sorcery, because I because I know some of that shit. But seriously, oh my god, it could have been just a cutscene. That, that, that would have been better, but no, like that was a legit boss fight where, where, where you fail, Talion dies, and yeah, yeah, you have to start, start over. I'm sorry, but that is not, that, that, that's just not, that's not how it works. I'm okay, like if you just wanted, like just a, a cutscene of Talion, like, oh shit, dude, oh shit, that would have worked better. It was a quick time event to Killed the big baddie. I'm sorry, but that is dumb. Okay, that is dumb. I mean, I never seen. I think the last thing I ever saw when it came to came to that type of shit was um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a quick time event, but it kind of was. Now it was the final final boss and uh aliens colonial marines, the big bad mother motherfucking queen herself. All you, had, all you had to do is press a few buttons and 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 shove her ass out of the out of the airlock. No big battle like how Ripley ha handled the Queen and aliens. Not really. It it was kind of the same same thing here. Shout out Mordor. Hopefully, the final boss in the next game, in Shadow of War, is better than one here. Ho hopefully, because Shadow of War definitely looks like it's been heavily improved. And everything, I just, just that final boss was kind of insulting as, as a fight. There was little to no fight in it, really. Just, it was, if it was just like a cutscene, it would have worked. Because it's Lord of the Rings type of lore shit here. You didn't need to put a quick time event into it. There was no need for that. So, because of that dumb boss fight, quote unquote. As a cutscene, it would have worked, okay? But, whatever. I still, but the ending was pretty cool. Um, There was, there was a little hint thing that goes on, like, in Italian's eyes or something, like, you know? That, that, that it kind of foreshadows somewhat of a sequel. It kind of does, but kind of does at the same time, but it really does. Which was kind of showing Shadow Shadow War, you know? Whatever, but yeah, the ending was kind of dis disappointing. It kind of was of how the big baddie went down. Anyway, this is all I gotta say about uh, Shadow Shadow of Mordor. What was my final rating? I would give it. I would say a. I wouldn't give it a ten out of ten. It definitely doesn't after that insulting bo bo boss fight. I would still give it a 9 because it's still worth picking up. It's fast paced as hell. You do it in ways that you want to do it. Like either go it slow or go or go at pretty fast pace. And you can get away with it pretty e easily if you if you know the controls very, very well and do you know you do it really quick. I still give it a 9. But the thing is before the final boss, it was a easily a 9. Now it's kind of almost it's kind of it kind of barely passes a 9 for me. It barely does because of the final boss. That was just kind of wow. But yeah. 
that that is that is my that is my thoughts. Um, I could get. I mean, I would give it like an eight or maybe even a nine out of ten. That like a a, a really easily eight to a barely nine out, out, out of ten. That's kind of what I would give Shadow Shadow of Mordor. It, it's an amazing game. I do like the story. I did like the story. I did like the characters, even the orcs and the uruks, like the some of the ones that I fought, like the captains and the warlords, like. Some of them actually want to die. Wanted, wanted, wanted to die in this somewhat of a way. Like again, like I really like that stuff. The the variety and stuff. You know, it's an amazing game. But still, the ending was like the only bad part I had to give it. The final, the final boss was kind of the did it was really disappointing. Cause they 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 built they built Sauron all up as this big baddie. You don't even get like a fucking fucking fire fire fight with him. You barely do. It's kind of disappointing. But but yeah, Shadow of Mor Mordor e easily eight to like barely a nine out, out, out of ten. That 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 is my final 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 score. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. I uh, like the video. If y'all enjoyed it, subscribe. If y'all want to see more, comment below what y'all think. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, be sure to subscribe for more. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video. Survivor apt.